Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Secrets, New Identity, Unfinished Business Young and the Restless, YNR, spoilers for Tuesday, March 5th hint at some intriguing drama that's about to hit the fan in Genoa City. One person conceals secrets from their partner, while a schemer assumes a new identity, and one character has some unfinished business with their ex. What should viewers anticipate from Tuesday's show? Time to plunge in! The Young and the Restless spoilers, Nikki Newman hides something from the mustache. YNR spoilers for Tuesday, March 5th suggest that Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, will hide a secret from Victor Newman, Eric Braden. What specifically could this be about? Will the tension of what Jordan Howard, Colleen Zank, is up to now just be too much for Nikki? Young and the Restless spoilers Tuesday, March 5th, secrets, new identity, unfinished business will she reach for a drink? Is this about the plan she has with Seth, Brian Gaskill, to capture Jordan? Fans will have to tune in to find out. YNR Spoilers, Aunt Jordan's New Identity Speaking of Jordan, YNR Spoilers for Tuesday, March 5th imply that the sociopath will assume a new identity. This doesn't sound like very positive news for Nikki or Seth. After all, if she wasn't onto their plan, why would she have to assume yet another new identity? Could Jordan have crossed a boundary, which is why she needs to assume a new identity? Is Seth in peril, or possibly dead? What new wig will Jordan adopt, now? The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Amanda Sinclair has unfinished business. Lastly, YNR Spoilers for Tuesday's show suggest Amanda Sinclair, Miss Hale Morgan, will resolve some unfinished business with Abby Newman Abbott, Melissa Ordway, and Devin Hamilton Winters, Brighton James. If Abby earns her Chancellor Winters board seat this week, there's a good chance that Amanda may look to overcome all the past animosity they have in order to move forward and cohesively work together. It's what's best for commerce. But it takes two to tango, so will Dabby agree to forget about the past and focus on CW's future? Fans sound off on changes after news of the soap's renewal, shake this show up. It was, without a doubt, a happy day not just for fans of The Young and the Restless but of soap operas in general when CBS announced that the show had been renewed. And it wasn't given one, or even two more years, but a massive four-year renewal. As excited as we were for the news, we figured it would be the perfect opportunity to hear what you, the viewers, are hoping to see happen. So we popped over to our Soaps.com Facebook page and asked folks, if you were in charge, what would be your first big move? And boy, did you respond! You can walk over to our Facebook post if you want to see the hundreds of replies. And we'd expect no less from viewers who adore their show and want to see the young and the restless be the very best it can be. There were, though, a few replies we thought we'd tackle below, starting with Phyllis. If that tease alone was enough to get a reaction, don't fret you aren't alone. To say that admirers are getting up with Phyllis would be, perhaps, the understatement of the year. That would get her out of this Danny and Christine mess, though it wouldn't necessarily make him appear any better and put one of the most popular couples back together. Of course, she'd have to get him away from Diane first, and we all know how much that backfired on her the first time around. And the second, and third. So maybe, after this obsession over Danny, Phyllis might want to just take a breather for a moment and focus on herself. Still, though, while fan Cassie Curtis didn't necessarily need a romantic reunion, she would like to see Jack and Phyllis go back to a friendship and for him to repent for flipping out at Red. Plus, she added, put Ashley and Tucker back together for good. And that takes us straight into another of the big issues. There was clearly a contingent of fans who weren't having it with Ashley's problems and her split from Tucker. A number just wanted her to move on and find someone else and, as Wendy Kabasinski said, Ashley had a breakdown years ago. Really don't want to see that again. With that said, it looks like we're deep in dead territory with an alter personality doing her best to damage Tucker and Audra, so while it does give us an out down the line for Tucker to forgive her and Ashley to reunite with him, that may be a little while. And her mental health problems appear to be here to stay. Ashley Tucker YNR it's not just repairing relationships or rebuilding lost ones that admirers want. They also need to make sure the existing couples continue to develop. 
And that's certainly true with Adam and Sally. Now that they're finally back on track, a number of individuals like in Marie Gauthier and Carol C.A.'s are hoping wedding bells will soon be ringing. Adam, Mary Sally. Love you two together. And they aren't alone, as Mark Grossman himself said that he'd like to see that marriage finally come to fruition. Sally Adam Lyanar. Charles Felsberg wants the program to start bringing on the new gen kids, which is a sentiment that Jay's Gaming Corner echoed. Bring on the next generation, Noah, Moses, Reed, he wrote, and add exciting elements to the storytelling like crime or a disaster. Shake this thing up. We haven't seen any of those characters in a while, though we believe Noah's still kicking around somewhere in Genoa City. Or is he still in London? Paris? And at this point, younger people like Maddie, Charlie and Reed have grown past the teen stages to young adulthood. It wasn't that long ago that we had them on the teen scene and they could be the perfect additions to bring the young 20-something population back to life and kickstart the next generation of stories. As for that last bit about exciting elements, though, we suppose it brings us to what we term the nuclear option, disaster. Have a good disaster, Mary Spryl Nichols suggested. Building fire, tornado. Where everyone comes together and works with each other. And yes, that is a daytime staple. Whenever things need a touch of shaking up, a disaster or two does the trick. Whether it's been smaller scale like the Winters family plane accident or the underground fire, or larger scale like the Clear Springs collapse, Young and Restless knows how to handle disasters. Maybe something big like that again would form new connections we never saw and create new relationships that click better than we could have ever anticipated. Julia Atwell, however, took a much harder line, have a massive event that kills numerous characters, not superfluous ones, but main, important ones. Then start again with fresh storylines and characters who live in the real world and the 21st century. It would be a bit like the mini-reboot in the early days when the show shifted from a half-hour to an hour and the Brooks and Foster families were phased out for families like the Newmans and Abbots. But that was still relatively early in the show's tenure. It hadn't even been a decade at that point and the families and characters around now have been around since the 80s. That kind of upheaval seems implausible, but that doesn't mean there's no room to shake things up. How about it? What would you change? What would you do? Jordan's next move, Danny's big move, Chance's romantic move. The young and the restless spoilers tease a dangerous week for the Newman household, plus much more for your Genoa City favorites. The young and the restless spoilers, that Jordan woman strikes again. While Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, believes she has Seth, Brian Gaskill, on her side, he is still off doing dumb things with crazy Aunt Jordan, Collins Inc. When she lures him outside to contact Nikki again, is she really leading the man to his death? Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, is also willing bait for the Newmans as they attempt to suss out Jordan. She really wants to be a part of the family and is willing to risk her life to do so. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Jordan's Next Move, Danny's Big Move, Chance's Romantic Move. Will Jordan's machinations with Seth destroy everything? The great Victor Newman, Eric Braden, thinks he has it all planned, but something is destined to go wrong, right? YNR Spoilers, Danny Romilotti makes a major decision. After leading two women on for months, Danny Romilotti, Michael Damien, attempts to make a hasty exit. He tells Christine Blair Williams, Laura Lee Bell, that he is departing town once again and she is floored. She thought they finally had an opportunity to be together this time and he is just giving up. Danny also has a talk with Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and sets the record straight with her. She will also be stunned that he is abandoning Genoa City. Maybe it's time she and Christine sat down and realized Danny was not worth squabbling over for all these years.